In the 1992 civil unrest, I was a student at Morehouse College. We were in finals week, the last week of school. Many of us from Los Angeles gathered in a dorm room to watch the verdict uh, because we knew that it was a hot issue here in Los Angeles. Uh, we saw the not guilty verdicts. We knew there would be problems. But before we could take stock of it, we looked outside the window and found that there was mayhem going on even in Atlanta. A downtown was burning, uh, several law enforcement vehicles that come onto the campuses of, of uh, the Atlanta University complex, where 20,000 black students uh, were matriculating, and those uh, vehicles were rejected, uh, to put it uh, kindly. And so uh, shortly after that, I got on a plane and came back home with several of my uh, comrades and, and colleagues there in college. When you landed a full week later, some, some of us 10 days later, you could still smell the smoke. Uh, there were still smoldering embers uh, on Normandy and Jefferson and Western and throughout uh, South LA and beyond. Uh, and you could feel uh, the collective sigh of despair that took over not only South LA, but the entire Southern California region. In the aftermath of the civil unrest, one of the fortunate things that happened here in Los Angeles is that people across the city got serious about social justice, about police reform, and about economic justice. Several movements really kicked off uh, after the civil unrest, and I think the civil unrest and the aftermath of it was catalytic in creating that energy. The labor movement uh, really blew up here in Los Angeles. The environmental justice movement in Los Angeles, the community organizing movement blew up. And the uh, seeds of the immigrant rights movement uh, start to take hold uh, in Los Angeles after the civil unrest. And you see all of those uh, strains have uh, had positive effects on our way of life here in Southern California and even had a national impact here in the United States.